Alright guys, welcome back to another video and this video is actually going to be pretty interesting because I want to talk to you guys about a pretty cool concept that we have to learn about and see if we want to become an expert programmer and that's this. The truth is even though we can store uh, like stuff like strings and characters and variables, your computer never actually stores the character itself. Computers can't understand characters or words or text like human beings can. They have to convert everything to numbers. So in order to store that character, it actually converts it to a number and that's how it stores it in its memory. So why am I telling you this? You guys don't care about, you know, the internal workings of computers. You just want to learn how to program, right? Well, the reason I'm saying that is because quite often you're going to come across something like this in your code. Say int tuna and before you know how I don't know I told you guys that you could set this equal to 74 and like uh, whatever number you wanted to well you can actually set int tuna equal to a character as well such as B so before if you guys saw this in your code you're like okay Bucky told me that this can store integers like whole numbers so why the heck are you doing this you're supposed to set it equal to char you idiot well, this is pretty much explaining what I just said. And another cool thing I should point out is whenever you're programming in C, you could pretty much use ints and characters interchangeably almost all of the time. So, how, okay, I, I got like a ton of crap to teach you guys. I don't even know uh, where to go from here. So the first thing I want to point out is you know how I told you guys to include this file right here? Well, this C type gives us a bunch of built in characters so we can actually test is this a character or is it a number because your computer treats everything as a number and us humans us mere mortals we don't do that so C gave us some cool ways to test if that character is actually a letter or a number so I'll show you guys how to use those functions right now so again make sure you have this imported because I'm going to be using functions from that file now the first function I want to tell you about is is alpha basically saying is this character um does it belong in the alphabet is it a letter so we need to pass in tuna because of course we need to give it something to test and this is going to return true if it is indeed a letter in this case it will return true since B is a letter so we can just go ahead and print something out on the screen and we'll put, uh, I don't know, something stupid like percent %c is a letter. Now just go ahead and print out tuna and check this out. It says b is a letter. Now you know how I told you guys that you could use ints and characters interchangeably? Well, this is another one of those examples. We declared b as an integer value, but then right here we didn't press percent %d, we press percent %c, which means print a character. So those that is one of those examples where ints and characters are being used interchangeably. Pretty confusing at first, but you guys are going to get used to it. So after this, I'll show you guys another cool function. And that's this. If is digit And of course, unlike is alpha, what this is going to do is it's going to test if this is equal to a number. So instead of B in here, just write the number like a 9 or something, any number that you want. So of course, this is no longer going to be true because 9 is not an alphabetic character. It is not in the alphabet. So right here, we'll just print out C is a number. So again, we can still use this character symbol right here, even though we declared it as an int. So run this baby, and we'll say that 9 is indeed a number. Now, another cool thing that we can do is check this out. Uh, just copy this. Say we have a character that's not a number or a letter or anything like that, like, a, I don't know, a dollar sign. Well, then we can use this else condition to say C is a uh, omg WTF is that. You know, something simple like that. So if you run this, 
and test the dollar sign for alphabetic. It's not in the alphabet and it's certainly not a number. Then it says dollar sign OMG WTF is that. Pretty freaking cool. So again, right now you guys are like, okay. So behind the scenes, it converts everything to integer, but I'm just gonna stick with characters for now. However, later on, you guys are gonna see why this information is useful and how you can do cool things other than just test the stupid character and print out something on the screen. So again, now that you have that knowledge in your brain, um, make sure it stays there because you're gonna need it later on. But for now, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time.